Christmas, the most magical time of year. It's the time snow falls, we deck the halls and finally answer grandma's calls. But when it comes to holiday spirit, some people fail. Which is why I come to you with this cautionary Christmas tale. We find four friends on a quest for the perfect tree. And if you guessed they could agree on said tree, we'd have to agree to disagree. Guys, let's just go back and grab that blue spruce by the car. That tree was ugly. We're getting a white fir. Why are you so set on a white fir? It's a classier, cleaner tree. You're a white fur supremacist. No, I'm not. You've referred to it as the superior tree multiple times. And you said all other trees should be cut down and burned. For firewood. And you can burn white fur too. I just think it's a waste. Let's just get a fake tree. I'd rather get no tree. Can we get a palm tree? I'm going back to the car. I'm going to find a white fur. I'm going that way. I guess I'll go this way. The friends could not see past their passive aggression, and each went off in their own direction. Will friendship end with this childish quarrel, or will a Christmas miracle teach them each an important moral? Stupid friends with a tree. I don't need them. I can make my own friend. There, friend. Come have a seat by the fire. Thanks. Are you guys camping? Negative, compadre. We're on a trip to Los Angeles. I'm going to be a famous singer. I just want to go someplace where people accept me for who I am. Well, best of luck to you both. With the music industry in rapid decline and LA being the vapid materialistic hellhole it is, you guys sure are brave. In no time at all, they moved on with their lives, befriending penguins and snowmen and making yetis their wives. They seemed to forget they were there for a tree and what their friendship really meant to the other three. Hey, wow, thanks for bringing me to life. Hi, I'm Brad. Do you want to go, like, watch Best Man's Holiday or something? Oh, wow, Ben. That sounds... It's Brad. Uh, real nice, but a couple of my boys are coming by and, uh, 
Oh. Hey, uh, rain check, though. Yo, Frosty the Bro Man, looking chill. Hop in. Take it sleazy, bot. Brad, got room for one? Dinner's ready. I can't. I feel guilty. About eating dinner? About you being so nice. Of course I'm nice. I love you. I'm not even sure I know what that means anymore. What? I love you. It feels like a reflex, like a yawn. But you said... I know. And maybe I did. Maybe? I feel like I don't even know you anymore. It's just... And I know it's petty, but ever since we ran into Bumble in the forest... My ex! You're jealous? I just can't stop picturing it! You don't even know the guy! He's huge! I can't believe this! Maybe I'm not ready for this. Maybe I need some time. What are you trying to do? Wow! Well, we believe hard work and positivity will take us where we want to go. Yeah! Nothing will keep us down! Wow! I respect that so much. It's good to see that kind of optimism in a world so full of darkness and despair. Every day, all you hear is talk about terrorists, the AIDS epidemic, human trafficking, murder, rape, drugs, cancer. And even when you get away from all that, what is there? Disappointment in yourself and your failed aspirations? The loss of respect from your friends and loved ones as they watch you dry up into a hardened, heartless husk of a man and you can't look at yourself in the mirror anymore because your aging face reminds you how much time you've wasted and how little time you have left to try and not be miserable before you perish into nothing, having mattered not even one iota in the grand scheme of the universe. Hey, do you guys have marshmallows? <sighs> As they each sighed the loneliest sigh, something wonderful caught their eye. A shimmering star on top of a tree. So incredibly perfect, they all could agree. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Hey, it's Santa! Did you guys learn a valuable Christmas lesson? Yeah, we sure did. We learned that the true meaning of Christmas is friendship and being around the ones you love. No, ho, ho. Christmas is about reminding people how alone they truly are. Brad, you're clingy and insufferable. No one wants to be your friend. Travis, you bum everybody out, which is why you'll be alone forever. Danny. You're incapable of love. No relationship will ever dissolve that emptiness that consumes your heart. Jonathan, you... You... But can't we change those things? No. Now let's all join together and sing our favorite public domain Christmas carols. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And so our friends found the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about presents, eggnog, or elegant feasts. It's about reminding us that we are truly alone, and that we will die alone, having achieved nothing of any significance except the shallow ventures of our pointless, insular existence. Good night, and remember to leave cookies out for Santa. Merry Christmas from Bay City!